Hello, brothers and sisters. Cameron here. Good morning. It is freezing and I am not wearing enough layers right now. It is winter time here in California, so it's actually warmer than the rest of the states. I'm starting something new. This was an idea from a friend of mine, and we'll call her Margarita Pizza. And if you're watching, hey, what's up? It's a brilliant idea, and I don't know why I hadn't started it something sooner. The idea is basically is take a scripture once a week and break it down, break it apart, and just show how ridiculous it is. And show why I started questioning the Bible as a whole. It's because I haven't found any answers that could, Christians could answer. There's usually about four or five responses that I would get from Christians on, and they would never answer the questions. So they would never answer the reason why the scripture seems ridiculous in the first place. Two, they would try the old, well, you're taking that scripture out of context. The next answer above that, once I started making more sense, and they, they kind of quickly figured out I knew what I was talking about, I knew the scripture, is the guy above me knows the answer, and for some reason it's usually never a girl, but most of the time it's a guy above me knows the answer. No, he doesn't. And then one of my favorites recently that I started getting is, that's not what my Bible says. Yes, it is. People have been saying the, the above line, that's not what my Bible says for dumbass long. They never fully answer the questions and divert the topics. These are red flags of manipulation and diversion for anyone that has a relationship with or without God or uh, just a friendship in general. If someone's diverting the answer or they're not uh, answering the question or they're passing it along to someone else and then not following up, those are red flags. And if they just don't know the answer, I wish they would just be honest about it. Like, hey, I may not know the answer. Let's figure this out together. Nine times out of 10, that's never the case and they never follow up with you. So today we're gonna focus on the first episode of this is 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 23 and 24. I, I do encourage you to actually sit down and read all of 2 Kings chapter 2 because there's some crazy stuff that happens in there. Uh, it's actually pretty weird scripture. There's a verse where Elijah takes off Superman style into the heavens with not much context around it besides why he's flying on a chariot that's on fire. No context provided. Anyway, the one that's left over is Elisha, not Elijah, and that's in verse 23 and 24 where things get fucked up. So the prophet Elisha is traveling from Bethel to Mount Carmel <laughs> and with a bunch of kids came running out towards him and started calling him Baldy or Bald Head. He sees them, curses them out, and curses them in the name of the loud, depending on which version of the Bible you're, you're reading. And out of nowhere, God sends two female bears to tear apart 42 of the group of the children. So not all of the children, but 42 of them get mauled or torn apart, depending on which version of the Bible that you're reading. Go on, just go on. No context provided as to why the fuck a prophet can't take a joke, or even if these kids were being mean-spirited. And he decided, oh, I'm just gonna murder these kids. A beta-ass male gets his feelings hurt, curses children in God's name, God murders them with bears. Done. That's it. So first off, if you're balding, that's a look that you have to commit to. You don't really wanna be walking around with your beard hair longer than your hair hair. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna be looking like some kind of upside down head or some shit. So I leave you with these immoral, irrational, and illogical verses from the Bible so that you don't have to believe in a book that claims to be holy and wants to control your life. Or at least the people, depending on the group, that are reading it and telling you their version of it to control your life. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get all these videos every time I upload them. Find me on Instagram and come follow along the journey. And then if you enjoy these videos, support my Patreon page. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time in order to keep making videos and up the quality of the videos and have them more frequently. Definitely would love your support if you can. If not, thank you for watching. I appreciate you regardless. And leave a comment that goes in further into these scriptures or what are the scriptures you would like to see next. Till next time, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video.